This is an English mahogany serving table sideboard. Around about 1835 in date. And of course, it's of interest to us because it's not just an ordinary serving table, it's made to be portable. The legs all unscrew so it dismantles to make it easier for travel or to pack away when you're not using it. Now, whether it was used by an army officer, we're not 100% sure, there's no provenance with it. It's very possible, I mean, after all, we've had dining tables to seat um, 10, 20 people before, and we have had other sideboards that have been multi-purpose and made for travel with a secretaire to the middle. So it's not out of reach that this was possibly made for an army officer. But of course, another possibility is that it was made for a large country house, and if they were throwing a party and they needed extra serving tables, then they might have one or two of these, which they would uh, tuck away and just bring out, assemble and use for the occasion to look after all of their guests. We'll never know for sure which it was, but certainly it's made to dismantle and to be portable. But before we do that, let's just have a quick look at it. So we've got these wonderful big bold legs carved with a canvas leaves to the top, ring turnings, reeds, and then terminating in a ball foot. And you've got two drawers to it as well. You've got a short drawer to this side, and then to this side, slightly longer, encompassing this central panel with a rosette. Now, a curious side to this table, serving table, which we haven't quite worked out yet, is that both drawers have got a little slit here, just by the keyhole, the escutcheon. What exactly that slit was for, we're not sure. I don't think it's anything to do with um, a handle for opening the drawer, because if you look, we've got a scoop here, which allows you to get your hand underneath to pull the drawer open. So you don't need a handle for it. Whether it had something to do with um, posting money or notes in for some reason, we're not sure. Um, we might never find out. If anyone out there knows, um, please do let us know. But an interesting curiosity to it. So, let's speed the film up a little bit, dismantle it and show you exactly how it all works. So, here it is, with all of the legs removed, and uh, we can see that it would be much easier to pack away, whether for storage or just for travel. And now that we've got a leg off, we can see these uh, nice big chunky wooden screw threads to unite it to the table, and also we can see the carving and the turning a little bit better. Now what's also um, interesting is that you might just be able to see here with some cabinet makers chisel marks we've got a number three and all of the legs and the corresponding sockets are numbered so that they don't get mixed up and that's quite important with um, this table because although they've carved acanthus leaves to the front they haven't taken the trouble to carve them to the back and so you want the legs to go into the right place, but you don't want the threads not lining up properly and the uncarved section being on view from the front. So an interesting little detail there. So you can have a good look at the shape of a leg here now in a close-up, and you can see it's really nice and chunky and bold. So here we have it, an English serving table made to dismantle um, for travel or storage, around about 1835 in date, and made in mahogany.